When other kids went to camp and they came home with painted rocks, I went to track school. And my idea of the perfect day was running up and down stadium stairs in the blistering heat, exhausted, knowing that was only the warm-up. As far back as I can remember, I was an athlete. Sports was just always part of my DNA. I like to tell people I came into this world holding a basketball in one hand and a baseball in the other. It's just who I was. In 2011, I was super excited to be preparing for my first 5K run. Although I'd always been athletic, I never liked jogging <laughs> at all. But I got to a point where I learned to love it. I discovered that runner's high that I had always heard about but could never get at, and I fell into it and I loved it. I looked forward to going to the gym every day, and for me, it was so exciting to shave a few minutes off my time, to change the way my arms and my legs moved, to breathe differently, and to get into that runner's headspace. Every moment of that preparation was delicious. And then one day, five minutes into my routine run, I lost all energy, and I flew off the end of the treadmill, slammed right into a wall. I knew something was seriously wrong. What should have been a five-minute walk home turned into an almost two-hour ordeal, and I found myself collapsed on a curb on a quiet side street in a torrential downpour, and not one person walked by, not one car walked by. I tried to get the energy to reach into my backpack to get my phone to call 911, but I couldn't do it. And by the time I finally made it home, I found myself crawling on my hands and knees across my kitchen floor. And I didn't realize in that very moment that my whole life had just fallen off the end of the treadmill. And the athlete that I had always known myself to be had fallen off at the same time. Over the next two years, I was diagnosed with not one, but two autoimmune diseases, Hashimoto's and the very rare and very serious gluten ataxia, in which gluten literally causes an attack on the part of your brain responsible for motor skills. Forget that 5K run, it was way over here. My body didn't remember how to walk or move properly. And forget those regular visits to the gym. I couldn't get my running shoes on a lot of days or even do up the laces. Push-ups, forget it. <laughs> I had no strength or feeling in my arms, and when I did, I was in excruciating pain. Everything I knew about myself as an athlete moved further and further away and it was replaced by doctor's visits, physiotherapy, and shopping for a mobility scooter. Every single day over the last seven years, my inner athlete has been crying and trying to get back out. Every single day. But I ask you, are you still an athlete if your mind and your soul believes it with every fiber of your being but your body, for years, can't do any of the actions that would make you one. I went back to what I learned when I first did high jump years ago in high school, and all the visualization I did in sports. I closed my eyes, and I remembered how I'd go through the approach step by step and every step in my mind. And I made that all about jogging. In my mind, I was going up and down stadium stairs effortlessly. I was killing my 5K. My cells needed to believe they could be athletic again. My body needed to believe it could move that way again. I realized that it was like building a house. It doesn't just magically appear here. You have to create it in your mind first. Put it to paper and then brick by brick build that house. I realized that if gluten was literally my kryptonite, my imagination was my superpower. One of the biggest things I learned on this journey is 
we need to celebrate climbing our own mountain. I needed to celebrate climbing my own mountain, not somebody else's. We all have our own journey to celebrate. In the midst of all of this, I wanted my 5K back. It was, it was this race that dangled here that I couldn't reach for years. And one day I decided I'm reclaiming it. I called up a gym and I said, I have a big race coming up. Uh, I'm reclaiming my 5K and I want to know if you'll sponsor me. What? <laughs> so this is what I propose. Can you let me use your facilities and your treadmills? And I plan to walk one kilometer every single day for five days. And at the end of it, I will have won my race. Yeah, we're in. Good. I contacted clothing companies. I'm doing this really big race, and I wonder if you'd be my race outfit sponsors. Two companies came on board and gave me clothes. And I went to the gym, I pinned a number on myself, and every day, for five days, I walked, and I reclaimed my 5K. Whatever it is, just start. Wherever you are at, just start. This year, I started a fitness ball class without the ball. And this year, I'm crushing my 5K on an electric bike. My name is Lise Windischman, and I am an athlete. Yeah.